Hello guys, welcome back to this wonderful channel. Uh, Simon Eba has done it again. This time he has met with Prince Charles telling him that um, he discussed so many things with uh, Prince Charles, went into details. I don't know what is actually giving Marzi Simon Eba, you know, such courage and bravery uh, to be sick taking some of these um, epoch making steps but before i'll take you down to the news and give you the full details of what simon Eber discussed with prince charles in the united kingdom uh, if this is your first time of joining us on this channel please go ahead and hit the subscription button the like button the share button and also remember to on your notification button so that um Whenever we are posting news, you will be the first. Uh, we will go collect them. And on this channel, we have promised to be bringing you the truth and nothing but the truth and not the garbages on the street. Um, Simon Eba is such a, a brave man. He has been taking, you know, different steps to show that he is actually Mazi Nam, the Kano's um, disciple. Of course, you know that Kano is still in the DSS detention. And I thought that, um, you know, after Kano, I was imprisoned or was, you know, uh, uh, jailed in the DSS detention. I thought that, you know, everything about uh, Biafra, the referendum and the freedom decision was going to cool off. And I know, you know, that everybody thought that also like the energy government might be thinking that that will cool off everything and die down, you know, the quest for secession. But it seems as if after his Amazon and the canon's detention, there has been this pump, you know, this fire, a different fire from Marzi Simon Eba. And recently, the, the, some people were accusing Simon Eba of doing his own thing. And um, there was a division between what Eba is doing and the house of the DOS. But currently, Simon Eba has, you know, taken it to another level by talking to the United Kingdom. Let's go back, let's go down to the news so that you will get the short story of what actually happened. Simon Eba, a Biafra agitator and separatist, has told the United Kingdom's monarchy under the leadership of King Charles III that the indigenous people of Biafra should be given a referendum. In a statement on Friday by the Finland-based lawyer and self-styled Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in exile, BRGIE disclosed that Igbos do not want an apology nor compensation but freedom to exit Nigeria. According to him, the bond binding the parties of Nigeria expired 100 years after the 1914 amalgamation by Frederick Locke Lugard. He appealed that the UK monarchy should honor the de demand of Igbos to have Biafra. Indigenous people, people of different parts of the world whom the British crown colonies exploited, enslaved, killed and stole their resources to develop the British Empire have been writing to you, justifiably seeking monetary compensation and or an apology. On the contrary, we the indigenous people of Biafra are neither seeking monetary compensation nor an apology from your empire. Rather, we ask that you use your exalted office to support the peaceful exit of Biafra from Nigeria and restore the sovereign state of Biafra. We wish to remind you that Frederick Lugard's amalgamation of the Southern and Northern Protectorate of the present-day Nigeria was established in 1914 to last only 100 years. 100 years have expired. Moreover, the amalgamation agreement which made Nigeria one country and was in the sole interest of the British Crown. The amalgamation agreement of 1914 stated that after 100 years, any tribe, group or region that does not want to continue in the Union will be free to exit the Union called Nigeria. The year 2023 makes that agreement 109 years. Therefore, in fact, by any implication, the agreement has expired. The amalgamation agreement is binding and Nigeria should and must be re renegotiated. 
freedom must be granted to all groups that wish to exit Nigeria Union, especially the Biafran people. Aptly, your good judgment and exalted office to review the amalgamation agreement and support the demand for Biafra exit from Nigeria. Nigeria is made up of several nation states distinct and paralleled with dangerous diversities. There is, none, there is no common, commonality between the people of the Southern and Northern Protectorate. Hence, the amalgamation was very selfishly and wickedly conceived and implemented without due consideration given to the distinct cultures of each group. This explains why it was hardly signed into law without consulting the indigenous people. Since the British imposed amalgamation, there has been a constant rift between the tribes. Each tribe is suspicious of the others and each fighting to dominate the others. There is no unity among the different groups who were forced into these unholy unions. Nigeria has not progressed because the relationship between the tribes have remained cantocarious and ponagacious. The amalgamation of Nigeria was more of a business venture for Biafra, without regards for the people. However, the good news is that the amalgamation agreement has expired. We wish to remind you that the Biafrans occupy the territory of the oldest eastern region of Nigeria and are estimated at over 75 million people, some living in Nigeria and others dispersed worldwide. Biafra existed as an independent nation from 1966 to 1970, when Nigeria, Britain and their allies fought Biafra and annexed Biafra into Nigeria in 1970. As you know, Biafra land is very richly blessed with human and material resources. 95% of the oil and other mineral resources that fuel Nigeria's economy come from Biafra land, yet we continue to suffer extreme inequity. We are not interested in oil, but we are more concerned about the repeat of Afghanistan in Nigeria, as very indication is that the Islamization of Nigeria is now in complete compilation stage. This could lead to a very bloody war if nothing is, is done to solve the problem. The indigenous people of Biafra insist that because of the gross injustice, human rights abuses, tribal conspiracy, fanatism, ethnocism, and class bigotry, we are determined to exit Nigeria. The indigenous people of Biafra are demanding from the Nigerian government in which Britain has excellent influence, a referendum and the exercise of our right to self-determination as prescribed by international law. We want to exit from Nigeria and restore the sovereign state of Biafra through peaceful means. Biafrans have been killed willfully and with reckless abandon in Nigeria for decades. Continuous stay in Nigeria is an existential threat to Biafrans. In 2016, more than 160 Biafran youths we are shot down in cold blood at Ungwa High School. Aba and the army declared Operation Python Dance 1 and 2, in which they stormed the home of Mazen Nam the Kano, leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, killing over 50 Biafran youths. Mazen Nam the Kano escaped assassination by the whiskers. The army went to Uzuwani in Enugu State and massacred over 100 Biafran youths. They did the same at Ehamufu, Izombe, and Aguleri. Just after the general election in Nigeria, about 40 people were shot in cold blood in Aba Abia State when some unarmed youths marched to the street to demand the release of Maz Nandikano, who was extraordinary rendition to Nigeria and still being held captive by the Nigerian government. Even after the course discharged him, of any wrongdoing, the soldiers also wounded hundreds of other innocent people. On the 1st of January 2023, the military led siege on the town of Irube 
Okigwe in Imo State burnt the town down after the presidential election in March 2023. The military and political talks burned down businesses of Biafrans in Lagos, Medugri, Abuja, Kanu, and Kaduna. To ease up the hostilities before they degenerate into another full-blown war, we call on your majesty King Charles of Great Britain to revisit the amalgamation agreement and enforce its cessation, encourage the renegotiation of Nigeria, and grant all indigenous people who wish to exit Nigeria have the freedom to exit peacefully. Although we demand a referendum and a peaceful exit for Nigeria, we, the Biafran people, through the Biafra Republic, Government in exile stand in solidarity with others who demand an apology from you. We ask that you stand on the right side of history and correct the wrongs of the past. My people, una don't hear um, uh, this one is coming from Simon Eber. Uh, this is what he sent uh, to King Charles III of the United Kingdom. Of course, you know that after the death of Queen Elizabeth, uh, Prince Charles has taken over the throne as the monarch of the UK. And now, Eba has explained to him, uh, you know that um, Charles and the UK has been apologizing uh, to every country or they have wronged uh, during the colonial time. Uh, some of them have sent, uh, demanded an apology and also a payback for what they suffered. But Eba said uh, for the Biafras, that they don't want apology, that what they want is for the prince to use his office to help uh, the referendum and also for Ni uh, Biafra to succeed from Nigeria. I will be drawing the curtain here, my wonderful people and wonderful subscribers. Uh, if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, uh, just go straight and hit the subscription button, the like button, share button, and also remember to on the notification button so that whenever we drop our news, you'll be the first to grab it. Um, God bless you for listening.